Let's fix my Discord. All right. Cool. So, the first time we've ever had two immortals. They do play different it actually roles. Actually, the though. first time. Well, we've only had one immortal before, oh, and it was Roids, and that's quite recent. Now we've got Nat. Before that, we never had immortals. We only had uh, divines, scrubby divine players. Imagine that. <laughs> Pathetic. Oof. Like me. Uh, but the uh, the Roids isn't drafting for Ten the Radiant, radiant. so we've got a immortal draft on the dire, divine draft on the Radiant. Five seconds remaining. I feel like saying don't ban my heroes is just a bait to get them to ban your heroes. Maybe that's the For plan all along. Six months subscribing streak. Whoa, six months. God damn. That's gone really quick. It's been routine for so long, I can't believe, like... It's already been half a year. I know. I appreciate your support, of course. Did you get a free emote? Do you normally get a free emote? Um, I don't think there's a thing on at the moment, or maybe, maybe not. Like, there usually is some sort of event, isn't it, which gives you the remaining. emote. Oh, I see. Um, so I don't think there is one at the moment. Five seconds remaining. So I think the consensus is, is that the immortal and divine players will be support. Radiant team pick. Is that agreed, or...? Well, it was sort of suggested, but I don't know if they'll actually, like, comply with it. But the thing is, is that Super Noodles and Nat Nat, who is Don't Ban My Heroes, are natural support players anyway. Yes, so true. it's like, Ten seconds how is that going to work? You know, you're putting them on a support, but if they play support anyway, then... Remaining. Well, they don't play support in in-houses that much because, like, in an in-house, the highest well, number of people... Does. Well, he's played Void, Faceless Void. He's played... Did he yeah, play but... a Void Spirit? I think he's played a lot of roles. Yeah, other but than I think Wind most Ranger recently, Rubik. it's always... Yeah, it's always them really people that have <laughs> True, true. That's Midnight Axe. Like, oh yeah, midnight. The one and only, one and only. He's not been in these in houses for a while, and he was kind of famous for his axe, and now he's back on it. Well, yeah. we're assuming, you know, it, it could be anyone on axe still, but we think it's midnight. Ten seconds remaining. But he goes pretty big on his axe, so definitely one to watch out for. Five seconds remaining. I mean, Ollie plays support. It's only Royds who's not really a support player, so uh, we'll see what he ends up playing. You know, maybe it's his Lena mid. It was first picked. Dire team ban. Mm. Mars. Tim. Tim's liking Mars at the moment. Had quite a few good games on him, so. Radiant team ban. No doubt the Tim Mars. Didn't he do quite well the last time with Mars? Like his spears and stuff. He definitely uh, is getting more comfortable on Mars, yeah, for sure. Um, no, it's not about Zocken. Zocken Lich, right? It was all about, um, what was it, Elliot? What are Frog's Lich? He did the huge, like, four-man Ravage uh, Sinister Gaze. Sinister Gaze, I yeah, saw that. That was huge. Yeah, Zocken does seem to play a lot of Lich, though. Absolute masterclass. We'll see. We'll see. Bans are a little bit different now. Luna has been banned and Venomancer. I heard something that mm. Venomancer Pos 5 is becoming more popular recently. I don't know if that's true or not. Oh no. Ten seconds remaining. I'm not really a fan of Venomancer as a support because he's got no stuns and he's Five incredibly easy to kill. Yeah, but he can just spit at you. He can. He can be annoying with the wards. Yeah, he can be annoying with the wards. Yeah, that's true. Anti-mage, Spectre. Very exciting. Anti-mage um, pretty much is banned every game. And apart from the time it was picked against Skyrath Mage and it didn't win. <laughs> Ten seconds remaining. Five what are we going to see remaining. next? Sven. Aeroblade. 
Oh god, when was the last time we saw Terror Blade? True, he is really meta at the moment. Um, not least because he has an ability literally with meta in the name. But he's he's not he's not played much by these guys. He's such a strong yeah. hero at the moment. If you leave him alone for 20, 25 minutes, yeah, he'll win the game. I don't know if it's the case of people don't really know how to play him or if they just think Ten seconds they're not remaining. comfortable on it or it's not the right lineup Five to pick him. Remaining. Yeah, I think they don't value him as much as maybe I would. They banned AA as well. What does that suggest? Alchemist. Surely you're not going to alchemist this early, are you? No. Uh, no. I mean, if they did... Ten seconds remaining. That is... They've got the biggest testicles Five in the EU. I just think it's too greedy to go alchemist this early. Maybe they just miss Ross 2 so Bad much. Deepik. True. That... Dark Willow's support, probably. I had to check if Ollie was on that team then. Oh yeah, me too, me too. No one else has played Dark Willow Core, I think, apart from Ollie. He's pretty good at it. That's, you know, we know that. But no one else has tried it in the core Ten position. I think remaining. Ben, or Flood, he's played it a fair Radiant bit in Pos 4. Ooh, so don't tell me that's Pos 1 silencer. I'll be very annoyed. <laughs> Pos 1? Ollie loves a Pos 1 silencer. In fact, sometimes it does work, to be honest. We'll see. Ten seconds remaining. I wonder why the silencer was picked. I guess if Mars Five ults, then you remaining. quickly use the silencer ult to stop them piling on spells on top of you. Something like that. Oh, Dark Wind and Mars is a combo. How have I not realised this? Oh, yeah. You fear them and they just keep banging their heads into the wall, taking of constant course. damage. Yeah, How yeah, yeah. I forget? It's, oh you God. don't see it often enough, especially yeah, not in our own houses. That's a combo. There you go. It's basically uh, yeah. trap everyone in the Mars ult and just destroy them. Yeah, but them. that's relying on a good arena. Like, sometimes... I guess it's easier to land in an arena than it is for, like... Oh, it's a very easy spell to land because remaining. it doesn't stun anyone, so they can easily blink out or, you know, use an ability. But remaining. you trap them in, so you trap them in the Mars ult, you then put the Willow ult on, Zeus Nimbus and Zeus ult, and just, you kill everyone. Yeah. So now Silencer is a little bit, yeah, more value, like we said in chat. Um, he's pretty good at, you know, if you Dios. silence Zeus, he can't do anything for, what, six Dios. seconds of a team fight, which is pretty big because Zeus can only do damage through casting spells. Jug makes sense. You get your ult off. That's fine. You're not going to die. You're safe. I'm still wondering why Ancient Apparition was banned, but... I guess we'll never know, mm. unless they pick something right at the end. Ten seconds remaining. They did ban Alchemist, um, the Dire. Five seconds remaining. Interesting. So I mean, that's probably it. safe. I guess that's safe than being sorry. Yes. You end up picking Alk then. But I mean, would you pick Alk when you've got Zeus and Mars? You need a Pos 1. So it just feels like running Pos 1 Alchemist would be very strange against the Dire team. Hmm. Ten seconds remaining. Sarkin's got some fans in chat, I've noticed. Sven's Five still in the pool. Carry hasn't been banned. Sven is not amazing against Juggernaut, in my opinion. I think it's all right against Silence of Witch Doctrine Axe, though. Um, against Juggernaut, I like to have Illusion Heroes. Can be pretty good. Uh, Ursa is really, really good against Juggernaut. Obnoxiously good against Juggernaut. So I would like to see Ursa picked because it would do well against Axe, Witch Doctor, or it sh should do all right. Um, it's good against Jug because if Jug ults you, you just press your ult, you take no damage. If he tries to fight you, you just do way more damage than him. There's no way he can fight you. Radiant team ban. Huskar ban. Does that mean they want to run Silence and mid and pick another support? Well, it, there is Ollie on the team, so I wouldn't be surprised if it was a Silence. Yeah, Ollie does like Silencer Core. I don't mind Silencer Core. I think Pos 2 Silence is fine. I just don't like Pos 1 Silencer. Seconds remaining. Because then you don't have a proper physical damage core. And Silencer doesn't do much I'd, damage through I don't BKB. think it will be Silencer Pos 1 anyway with a jug. Yeah, that's true. So that's all right. But it could be, still be Silencer support. It's an option. Yeah. 
Kunku was banned, so they think Silencer is a support and that there's a mid hero going to be picked, which is fair enough. You have to lane against Zeus. There are lots and lots of heroes who are good against Zeus. I would say um, Templar Ten Assassin, very strong against Zeus. You do very well Five in that lane. Seconds remaining. Is it just a Zeus though? Like, do you not want heroes that can do well again? Like, a lot of their team, rather than just one person? Well, if you can shut down Zeus and dominate him, then that's like a lot of their damage gone. Void Spirit and Storm Spirit start off with True. a hard lane and then end up killing Zeus over and over, especially Storm Spirit. It's very easy to kill Zeus when you're playing Storm. Do you remember that game Ollie played Storm? Uh, Zeus rather, and he had to build like two braces and an oh, Aeon yes. disc because yes. they just kept assassinating him over and over and over. And there was nothing he could do because he picked Zeus. Zeus is so bad against assassins. He's got no mobility at all. Well, he's quite fast base move speed, I guess. But even if you go boot to travel, it's not enough to run away from some heroes. Time. Yeah, running out of time. Two seconds left to go. Pango. Pango. Okay, wait. Axe Pango. Hmm. Midnight and Decay. One. I, I don't no, know. Juggernaut one. So oh, yeah. Sorry. We've got one of those has to. Wait, no, 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 no. no. Sansa and Witch Doctor support. Ten seconds remaining. Pango mid. Juggernaut. Pause one. Axe pause three. Yeah, you could do Pango mid. Yeah. Pango yeah, mid. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. I mean, Pango mid is good. I, picking it against Zeus, I don't know. It's prob probably all right. You can roll on Zeus. You can do a lot of damage to him with the swashbuckle. So you can always poke him back. Uh, you can disarm Dark Willow. I think Dark Willow disarmed, can't you, Shadow Realm? Morphling. Morphling. We haven't seen that since the uh, the old days where we, Morphling was actually picked in our own house. Wasn't it? It didn't used to be Jack S who was Morphling. Jack S Morphling, yeah. Hmm. It could be Ollie Jug mid, but then you've got Pango. No, you've got... In fact, Decaia is playing Juggernaut, and Ollie is playing Pango. So that's quite unusual. Um, Nat Nat on Silencer, so pause four Silencer, potentially. Yeah. Okay, they've got an interesting lineup here. We've got Roids on Morphling. Excited to see what that can do. Ah. And as we've seen in chat, it's uh, Zock and Lina. Apparently, he's never missed a Light Strike Array, ever. Wow. So he's pretty we'll be good. Watching. We'll be watching. We'll have a permanent camera just on him, like in the corner. Yeah. Zock and Cam, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't like Morphling against Silencer because if you get globaled in a team fight and you're not ready for it, you're just dead. Like, I know eventually you'll get Manta, fine. Well, you're, you're going to have to build it pretty quickly, right? Burn. Burn. Awesome. I don't even see Zeus's Yeah, he's gone high off the screen. I mean, that Juggernaut is pretty kitted out. So, yeah. he clearly knows what he's doing on this hero. Well, well I like to see people play different big, roles. a big bait in that, you know... Well, he has no idea what he's doing. He just out. bought all yeah, the cosmetics. Yeah, <laughs> yeah maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, I've got faith in Decay. I know his Pango is good, but it's also nice to see someone else on Pango. And you don't see Ollie on Pango that often. I doubt he's got many games on the hero. You will be forever. Oh, Noodles Zeus mid. Divine V, Divine mid. Okay. Noodles has already taken Lightning Bolt, so he's very, very early on. Before he even makes it into the lane, he's not committing for the normal, well, normal these days, Arc Lightning spam build. Oh, Ollie's got a stick. Magic stick. But he thinks it's going to be Arc Lightning builds, but he said, nope, I'm going for standard. Even though it was nerfed a lot, I'm still going for Lightning Bolt build, which can be strong. You know, it's, it's still a good build. It's just not the meta at the moment because it can't farm that well. I, I admit nothing but my sadness that you're gone. Got some high level compendiums here. 1,160 on Roids. Roids is... Courtesy of his dad's credit cards. Oh yeah. Bank of dad. Very good. Everyone's throwing every voice line possible. Got to get it out of their system before the battle pass gets retired. For 
Not much contest bottom is like for the Decay has already started spinning. He really wanted it. Well, I guess he gets the oh, bounty. There's one LSA landed from Zokin. Oh, it's at 100%. One out of question mark. No, he's never missed before, remember, so. <laughs> Ollie bought a lot of regen to this lane. He got two shared tangos. He bought his own tangos and he started with a stick. He didn't even go Quelling Blade. Not going Quelling Blade mid against a, a mid hero who's got 10 more base damage than you. I'm not so sure about that. In fact, I think that might be a mistake, but we'll see. There's a lot of damage going to Bar. Look at Drekken. When did he become so aggressive? Since playing these in houses a yeah, lot. Yeah, he's learned. He's like, look, I'm not going to be that passive wallflower support who just sits in lane, stares at my carry. I'm going to go in. He got the fairy fire used, but now he might die. But look, he's taking Tim out the lane, so that's pretty good. Decay is just like, yeah, thanks for the farm. Look at the size of that copy pasta. What is going on? Is this like chat. a... Someone's written like Homer's Iliad in chat, but all about Zokken. He does have a Dota 2 tattoo, and no, you cannot see it. It's for the lady's eyes only. <laughs> <laughs> this is the legend. Legend of uh, legend of Zokken. Okay, not connecting some of these spins on Jug, unfortunately. Noodles, that bolt was very questionable. But I don't know. Did Ollie get a Quelling Blade? Yeah, yeah, he did. Okay. Oh, bottom. Oh, we're having a look. Royce gets first blood. Very nice. Midnight's still only level one. Just hits level two. Kazokin, obviously. There you go. Light Strike Array. It is always. The cooldown of Waveform is very long at level one. 20 seconds. So Midnight will be fine. That's quite a difficult lane already. You're playing against two ranged heroes. One of them is Morphling. Never a fun time. Noodle's doing a lot of damage to Ollie with that. Look, he's not even got Arc Lightning at all. He's just gone Lightning Bolt, Static Field. He's like, I want to do as much damage as I can. Oh, that me, though. Ollie's not got a salve. He's not even sending one. He's just going to wait for the tangos. Decay is spinning yet again, but he's very low. Bramble Maze, not going to connect. Apart from on some creeps. Drekken, be careful, mate. You're, you're dying to creeps. A lot of creep aggro on Drekken. Oh, Freud was... Looked like he was in trouble then, but he... Uh... Taken a lot of damage. He might have to morph some strength. Actually, look at the double dot. Battle Hunger and Arcane Curse. It's oh. so much damage. He's got this stick in his backpack. Okay. Yeah, that's a mistake. But down. I don't know if that was just to um, top something else in. I'm guessing he didn't uh, like have it in the backpack the whole time. Ollie's already got a point of Shield Crash. Noodles is patient. He knows like I'm not going to bolt into Shield Crash because it blocks damage. So I'm going to wait for it to end. Now I'm going to bolt. Or not. Oh, he's going to tango. Okay. Bolt him? No. Radiant Doesn't want to bolt Ollie. Fortified. Bit Don't of a fight going top. Again, spin unfortunately not connecting on Decay. A lot of damage from Tim. I love Orb of Venom. I feel like if you're playing Mars, you've got to get Orb of Venom. It's so nice. Roids is pretty low. Yeah. Midnight running in. If he gets a spin, that's a kill. Oh, Roids, he's having to move a little bit of strength. That's the power of uh, Nat. A lot of damage on that silence of support. He's even got a Blightstone. Blightstone is a very odd item to get on Silencer because he has got this like pure damage attack and magic damage arcane curse, yet he still went Blightstone. I guess it does help Axe a little bit as well. He likes to auto. I think Nat just likes um, Blightstone, which is fair enough. I like the item too. Yeah, I mean, Zokka's got plenty of mana. Of course, it was well calculated Dragon Slave. He was already got Fiery Soul. <laughs> I like that 1 1 1 build. No, the rank 1 uh, Dragon Slave does barely any damage. It's almost not worth casting. 85 damage. Oh, Noodles actually finds a kill on Ollie. I just see Ollie's corpse. Uses the haste ring, runs into the tower. I think Ollie did not buy enough regen this lane. Or should have got a few more salves, maybe. Give me more. 
How is top lane actually going though? 17 last hits Not on Decay, sure. but 22 on Tim. So Tim is actually winning in last hits. Royce has 19 last hits and Midnight has 16. So he's winning only just. Royce is now on one HP. Literally one. Literally one. Yeah, Zeus is on his team, thankfully. <laughs> If not, then Zeus would ult and be like, oh, why have I got a kill? Interesting. Yeah. I've used my ult in here just to cancel salves before. It's always really? worth. Really? Oh, it's so good. Like, your opponent oh, salves, you just uh, instantly top, ult top, it. Top, sorry. There was a bit of a fight, but my hats go to top lane. It looks a little bit more intense. There comes the Zeus ult. Actually kills Drekken. And to care, nearly goes down. Oh, there's the spear That's kill. So and they got a kill bot. Zeus, sitting in mid, presses R, helps in three kills at once. Well, he actually gets one of the kills, helps in two. I think that's the power of Zeus now. Remember they nerfed his ult by giving it a 30 second longer cooldown? But they gave it 50 more damage at level 1, so it's a 300 global nuke. It's pretty powerful. As well as it applies static field, taking away a percentage of their current health. What is he going to build on Zeus? I'm always interested in. Um, you know, ether lens and ags are pretty common, but like, will he slip into yours? Will he go early travels? Will he get four stuff? Like, he's just got mana boots. So okay, maybe... for now that's fair enough. I just want to see like how he prioritizes. Some Zeus has even got blink dagger. You can bl um, blink away from some of the enemies. You might get yules because you need to purge silence as ult. Oh, Ollie, he was rolling on mid. Oh, he doesn't quite land it. He nearly gets the kill anyway. I think if he landed that stun, he would have got the kill. He's going to be fine. Curse crown, but he's too far away. Noodle's on 1 HP. If he got Zeus ulted, he would die. Ollie, he looks for it. He doesn't find it. Playing very greedy. Nice rotation from the Radiant. Just keeping Noodles alive. Ollie doesn't even have a Javelin. How is he doing so much damage? Rainbow Warrior! Hey, it's Charlie. I haven't seen you in ages. Welcome oh back to the stream. Oh my god, Charlie! Where's he been? France. Oh, has he? For like, for like six weeks. That's a very long time. Well, welcome back. We've had some good Dota recently, yeah. Now we've got an immortal player on each team. That means oh, very high rank. Roy just picks up a kill. Goodbye, Nat Nat. I actually thought today, literally today, I was thinking, where's Charlie been? Well, ask and ye shall receive. Speak of the devil, as we say. I know it is true. Look at Royd, so oh. aggressive on mid now. Oh, that's literally the first time Zokken's ever missed a light strike rate, but he didn't actually miss it, it was zoning. Yeah, like, I was about to say that, it's zoning. Yeah. He never misses it, like, it was intentional. Oh, so he lands that one, obviously. Three stacks of Fiery Soul, just clicking that. There's a regen rune, that's gonna be nice for Noodles. Oh, it doesn't quite connect with Ollie. He sees the region rune. He is happy. He gets a kill with the Zeus ult. He's 302 on the Zeus mid. Pretty good. Decay is nearly six, but Tim is six. Drops the arena. Misses the spear. But it doesn't matter. He's going to get the kill anyway. That's like Tim's playstyle. You miss the spear, but you, do, you just get the kill anyway. The spear is sort of ceremonial. You don't really need to hit it. Fully back, back. Well, nice of him to turn up anyway. It has no arms to defend itself. Are we still analysing Sarkin's plays? <laughs> yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Justifying that um, zoning LSA. Well, Sarkin's certainly got a big fan club in the chat today. <laughs> Popular player. We've got two immortals now. No, no, no. It's all about Sarkin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, technically, he is Sokken is an immortal player, really. Oh yeah, yeah, he's yeah. Just, he's just on a smurf. Nah, yeah, he just hasn't hasn't played ranked enough. Hey, thanks for the resubscribe, Charlie. Another Rainbow Warrior, man. Rainbow he's been saving Warrior. up these channel points. I mean, you'll never catch up to Karen, but still. Nah, I could do about. Like 10, 11, <laughs> I don't 
Let me let me calculate it. Hang on a sec. Zarkin has a 17 act win streak. Is that even true? Oh, look at that stun. Beautiful stun. He doesn't have mana though. Yes, he does. If he uses the one. No, he doesn't. It's 280. And he's going to go down midnight. Picks up the kill. Ollie is here. He's rolling onto Royds. Royds is fairly low. Oh, he doesn't quite get the second roll. Royds, he's full morphing strength. Another stun from Ollie? No, not quite. But Royds, he's got Maladic. Maladic, a really good spell against Morphin. I feel like he could have TP'd straight away. Is Elastic Maladic going to kill him? It doesn't. Why doesn't it kill him? First crown. Ollie's going to get the kill. Shield crash. Nice taunt. It's such a good ability against Dark Willow. Use the call. And you can bring her out of the Shadow Realm. Because obviously she has to attack. And Ollie gets another kill. Yeah, really good fight from Ollie. Good rotation. And then Noodles presses his ult. Zokken finds a kill on Midnight with it. Interestingly, Raiders are not that far ahead. Despite having six more kills. It's fairly close. I just realized that Belial is playing the Dark Willow. I don't think I've ever seen him play Willow. Well, he does play Pos 4, so it's, you know, sort of fairly usual. We're going Midas on Roids. Midas Morphling after building a full Treads Wand and Morbid Mask. So that's quite a late Midas. It's an interesting decision to get so many items and then Midas. I'm not quite sure why he's opted to do that. Wouldn't you just start building Manta so you can get rid of the Silencer ult? That's what I'm thinking. It starts at 4.5 yeah. seconds. That's 4.5 seconds you cannot morph. So if they go on you with the axe call, then the silencer ult, I mean, you're just dead, right? You're dead. Nah, I think maybe he's relying on Socking God to save him. Maybe. Is that a good idea? Socking like, gets the stun, I mean, Bilal's that. here, and then... Well, Midnight is fast. But there's the Cursed Crown. And Royds goes in for the kill. Good rotation from the supports here. Ollie finds the regen rune, but he's very low. Gets the roll just in time. Oh, the wall. Oh, a lot of damage coming out from God's Rebuke. He jumps over, doesn't quite get noodles. Good play from noodles. Oh, he just takes I the kill, but the Maledict will bring him down. Yeah, yeah, Maledict's yeah. gonna kill him. Goodbye. Four time streak gone. But getting the kill on Ollie is pretty big. The Drekken will be happy to receive 460 solo gold. <laughs> And a little bit of XP as well. Always nice. Oh, thought they were going to try and be the witch doctor then. Looked like Tim was going to do that middle, but he didn't. What is Tim going for? Is it his standard Vlad's Blink? No, he's got Blink first. He's literally just gone Phase Boot, Soul Ring, Blink. So really early Blink for Tim. I guess they want to get the combo going as quickly as possible. He didn't even want to wait for Vlad's. Oh, it looks like in the bot lane, Zokken died. But they did manage to bring down Nat. So support for support. Bit of a fight going on mid. Ollie's doing a lot of damage. Omni Slash used. And it is going to get Tim killed. And they take his courier. Whoa, unlucky Tim. Wait, was that... Did he get his blink at least? Oh, no. No, two minutes with no blink. Everything went wrong from there. A lot of damage coming out from Noodles. Finds a kill on Axe. He is 6-1 on the Zeus. He is pretty farmed. And he's going for the build that I like to go for. Ether Lens into Aghanims. Royce, he's chasing Decay. He knows Decay doesn't have Omni Slash. But it doesn't matter. Decay is fine up here in the safe lane. I think, if I'm right, only one tower has been taken so far this game. Yeah, 14 minutes in, only one tower has been taken. A lot of damage going into Nat. I think he's dead. Yeah, Noodles is going to kill him. One second. Bolt comes out. Bam. Noodles. 7-1-3. The chat absolutely brutal, man. Unbelievable. Well, Crybaby isn't all chat, thankfully. <laughs> So Decay has gone Mask of Madness first item, first main item. That's going to make him very potent when he uses Omni Slash. It's like the early game damage item. Radiant grouping up to push the tower. Ollie doing a lot of damage. He's rolling. They've used the Global Science as well, but there's no one to follow up with Ollie. Shield Crash used. He's trying to find something to stun off. Just misses Noodles. 
gets a lot of damage with his maelstrom, but it's not quite enough. If he landed that stun, he would have got the kill. I swear, Super Duel is sidestepped. To... He's pretty good at doing it, isn't it? He's done it a few times now. <laughs> the chat is so good today. I know. Hydras are top quality bands. They can't kill Roids. He's way too tanky. Even if you silence him, look look at his HP. 3,000 HP. I think you just turn it all back into Aji. He's got his Yasha. Okay, so he didn't go for the weird Midas. No. I mean, thank God for that. It was, was interesting. So just having a look at the net worth. Again, it's not too bad. The Dyra only 2,000 behind, despite being down a lot of kills. Eight kills. Tim's just walking in. He doesn't have his blink. He's like, who cares? I'm just walking in. But he gets silenced. Out comes the fear. Great combo. A lot of damage going out from Royds. But out comes the Omni Slash. It's going to bring down Tim. Oli is rolling. This is a big fight. They are going on to Royds. Midnight is trying to get a kill into Dark Willow. But Bilal just takes him down with Bedlam. They're still going on to Royds. Royds, he steals the Pango. He turns into Pango. Uses the Swashbuckle to get away. He's got literally one HP. Doesn't want to pop his one. On one HP. Pops it right at the last second. But Oli misses the Swashbuckle. Oh, daring plays from Royce. Look, back to 1 HP again, and then back up. He was baiting. He knew it. He's going to dig up a salve. Bet you. It would be nice. So, in the end, uh, Tim ran in and died, but he got the ult off, and it was enough for his team to get three kills. So, good fight from the Radiant. He dug up a salve. Oh, my God. I called it. Perfect. I'm one, I'm one with the shovel. You are, yeah. You know exactly what it's going to dig up. A bit sad because when Tim ulted, Jekin was about to ult, but it got cancelled by Dark. Oh, Will. we're spinning on Zokken, but Decay doesn't want to commit too hard, which I think is clever. We've got a regen rune on the Zeus, and he's already got the Aghanims flying into him. The full Ags already on Zeus, 17 minutes, and now Tim finally has his Blink Dagger, so you're going to have to deal with Blink, followed up by Nimbus at 17 minutes. Blink Arena Nimbus. That is really harsh. Ollie's going to fuse a blade, so I guess trying to burn as much mana as he can from the Morphling. Mars doesn't have a big mana pool. Taking mana away from Zeus is always good. Radiant. They're just marching straight into the Dire Jungle, but the Dire can see that, so they're going to back off. Sentry gone down. Going to get a D ward. Cheeky 170 gold. Oh, there was a smoke from the Dire. Did the Radiant see it? No, they didn't. Arrow from Ollie. They're a little bit split though. You see how Midnight is. He's got his Blink Dagger. He sees Tim. He gets spit into the wall. They're going to go on him. But there's a fight going on here too. They found Noodles. This is a big kill. Killing Zeus is huge. They don't manage to kill Midnight because Axe is a reasonably tanky hero. We've now seen Royds. Royds, he's used his waveform. But Tim, huge old look at the damage they put straight onto Decay using the Laguna Blade as well. Huge fear combo. Bilal doing a lot of damage with the Bedlam. And that's an easy three kills for the Radiant. Okay, they might have lost Noodles, who had Nimbus and Dizzle and most of their team's damage, but didn't matter. The combo of, of Bilal and Tim is just too strong. And you see, combined with Zokken's Laguna Blade, Decay just instantly died. He still had yeah. Omni Slash up. The Radiant are scary when it comes to team fighting. The Dire don't really have the same sort of team fight. Like, they've got Axe to initiate. They've got the Pango stun. But when the Radiant blink in and use that arena, you're just dead. They have no way of escaping. I guess Jug can spin out. Maybe Pango can leap out? Oh, he spears him out of the Nimbus. Unfortunate communication error there. Maybe it was intentional. Tim felt sorry. Oh, yeah. He was like, no, no, no. Don't kill Midnight. He needs, he needs to live. <laughs> Tim is an imposter. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Run, little bottom tower. Run. Radiance middle tower is under attack. By the gods, the Dyer's bottom tower doesn't even have arms. Wow, Ollie, that is pretty close to farming a camp. Take a bolt to the face by noodles. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. The Dyer are winning in last hits. They are actually out farming the Radiant. Radiant have taken some more towers, though. I mean, Dyer haven't, haven't, ta haven't taken any towers. But Radiant have now taken four. 
They're not going to be able to claim the outpost in time. So that's good for them. Oh, Midnight tried to cancel that TP, but... Just a bit missed it. too late. Just have a look at the player levels. Haven't looked at them in a while. Radiant definitely have an edge, but Dyer have a level 15 and level 14 hero as well. So the game is actually closer than it first seems. Decay, he's just being chased by Royce. He's actually going to pop his ult, but I don't think you have the damage to kill a Morphling. Morphling still has Manta. There's now a Nimbus in the way. Doesn't go on him. They've used Global Silence. In fact, if they Global Silence straight away, I think he would have got the kill because then Oli, um, not Oli, um, Royce. Oh. What? Oh, the combo was almost perfect. You can tell there was some communication there because it all happened so quickly. But then he gets the stun. Easy stun onto Nat and he just walks away. Tim, he actually gets found. He uses his arena. Doesn't matter too much because the cooldown is low. But Dyer find a kill. I'm fortunate about not being able to kill Royds. He actually was saving his Manta for the Global Silence anyway, so he was definitely fine. Decay just had the reactions to spin, because if he didn't, yeah. he actually would have been taken down. And he's building Mask of Madness Maelstrom into Sanjin Yasha, so a very peculiar Jack build, let's say. But they're all damage items, so, you know, he'll still hit fairly hard. Grove Bow, nice Morphling item. We're going Ag's Morphling. Is it for double Zeus? It must be double Zeus. Look at the damage of that. It must be double Nimbus, right? It's got to be it. Yeah. You, you get Nimbus, don't you, when you turn into Morphling? Uh, I, I don't think you... Oh, or do you I not? Know. I don't know I don't if you know. get... You don't, you don't get ults. I know that. It's not an ult, though. Yeah, you do get Nimbus. But why do you get Nimbus? Is that part of Aghanim's, or is that... Um, like, why do you get Nimbus? Is it just because Zeus gets the ability? It's Oh, you get Ag's upgrades, do you? Okay. We're engaging onto Noodles. He can't sidestep this. He's slowed by the Diffuser Blade. Oli used the Diffuser Blade, but we can't kill him. He's taunted. We don't have the damage. Midnight goes straight down. Decare is spinning, trying to do what he can. Drekken uses his ult, but he gets taken out by Roids. And now the chase begins. Light Strike Rate unfortunately misses just... But Decare gets rooted. Zocken finds the kill with the Laguna Blade. Nice net going on to uh, Takeo. I don't know who has the net, but really good play there. I think that was Belial. Belial, yeah. Ollie using the Diffuser Blades and his role to try and get onto Noodles, but they just didn't have enough follow-up. Now the Radiant are really starting to assert dominance this game. Ollie's doing what he can. Look at the oh. He actually kills Royds! He kills Royds with a Maelstrom proc. Oh That's what you get for God. staying in the lane on 1 HP. Come on, Roids. What are God. you doing? Honestly. Mm. He finds another kill. Ollie picking up two easy kills with his swashbuckle. What an amazing spell that is. He didn't even go the 350 cast range. He went for the two mana regen. Ollie, that is so oh. cheeky. <laughs> I think he should go Ags first, actually, instead of Basher. Because he's pretty strong. Yeah, fair enough. I think you'll go Ags next, right? <laughs> oh, nice one, Ollie. It, it took him a while to find the right voice line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's kind of lost its impact. Oh, Drekken. Oh. I'm waiting to see this Ags morphling. Double Nimbus, and then Refresher, then Quad Nimbus. It gives then... attack range as well, apparently. So... What does? Um, morph Ags. You, oh, when, cast when range. Morphed, while morphed, you gain cast range. Oh, yeah, you do. 600. What, on all so, spells? What? That's insane. So, isn't there usually sometimes when the Zeus, if they've got, like, the Seer Stone and, like, whatever, you can cast, like, all your abilities from, like, halfway across the map. Oh, yeah. Morphling. It's insane. You can do it from base to base. I mean, I just... I like the idea of Ags, it's a bit troll, but if you've got Zeus in your team, wouldn't you just go E-Blade? Because then you E-Blade someone and Zeus can help you blow them up. They're trying to go on Ollie. Spear, straight into the wall. Nimbus, Yules. I'm not sure who Yules and why. Doesn't matter, they're going to find the kill anyway. It was Zocken, but he gets the kill with the Guna Blade. He Yules because he wanted to say, guys, it's my kill, just chill. I'm taking this. Yeah, I think we know about the Morphling Earthshaker because you get the Enchant Totem, you just Enchant Totem in turn back into morph and do like this 8 million agi uh, crit. <laughs> yeah. Just one shot people. And then you become the most mobile core of all time. 
It's absolutely <laughs> disgusting, Morphling Earthshaker. You get the stun as well because you get aftershock. Tim, nice reactions oh, from Decaya. Oh. Tim looked for the spear, but he could not find it because Decaya was expecting it. Trying to show who's the better Tim. Yeah, Tim or Tim. Like, we used to have a lot of Ross on Ross, but we haven't seen Ross 2 for a while. Nah, I think he's been in London. Um, How dare he? Stuff like he should be playing Dota like everyone else. <laughs> yes. Well, they're taking Roche and it's not too difficult. Tim is really taking a beating, but they've got Vlad, so he'll be able to heal himself up. Noodle's just zoning the enemy, and it's pretty much a free Roche. Roche is never too hard when you've got Morphling. This Morphling just hits it so hard. But having Tim to tank also helps. And now they're just running into the dire jungle. It's okay, you've got to be careful there. Their radiant here is all around you. And he's going to be okay. I want to say Dyer can still win this because despite Radiant winning so many of the team fights, if you look at the net worth, it's not actually that bad. Well, Ollie got a double kill just like on his own earlier. Oh, yeah, true. So I wouldn't really underestimate him. Morph's got his ags now, by the way. He's literally just got Oh, onto okay. You know, Ollie's got. Totally um, a, oh, he's going for a Bissell Blade. I don't know why. Maybe he feels like his team needs more lockdown. Wow, morphing into Juggernaut gives him Swift Slash. That's pretty meme. Can you unmorph back into Morphling while you're Swift Slashing as well? Because that would make you do more damage, probably. Tim, he goes in, but Decay just spins out. Midnight Hover is trapped, and he is going to go down, but they have used the combo. They found Drekken as well. He's going to die to the Nimbus. Is that... Oh my god, Void was Dark Willow. Oh, and just gets the, the Shadow Realm attack. I thought, does Blah have yeah. Axe? No. They have right. some great combos on this team. Damn, I, I saw the Willow Axe, and I thought, I got to check Belial. They got some ridiculous combos on this team. Just diving under the tower. No consequences. Yeah, we're just going to blink in. Kill Midnight, what are you going to do? He deals to care. No, he spins. No stun for you. Doing a bit of damage to Royds. He's going to back out with the waveform. A lot of damage to care. is on like 1 HP, but look how much damage he's doing. It's not enough, however. And he's actually going to go down. No, he's not. Oh, Glimmer no, Cape. Fantastic miss. Glimmer. No Royds is very low. They're going on him. Royds is still alive. Stun's coming out from Ollie. Okay, he does finally die to Midnight, but he's stuck in the Nimbus. They just killed the Nimbus, but it's a little bit late. Ollie does find a kill on Zocken. One for one at the moment, but they did get the Aegis. Yeah. Ollie stunning and taking a bit of mana away. We have the Morphling ult coming up soon. It's going to be pretty scary. They've now taken the tier 3 tower. Reckon throws out the stun. He bounces there. They should back with no Lina. Yeah, when you don't have Zokken, you might as well just go back to base. Play safe till he's up. Oh, what a good Morphling item that is, especially against their lineup. Reducing the duration of call. Oh, he's gone Dark Willow again. He didn't even care about Zeus. He's like, forget Zeus. I'm playing Dark Willow. Oh. No, doesn't find him. Here comes the damage. In fact, he morphs straight back into Morphling. No, he doesn't. Oh my oh, god. He can, he can use Shadow Realm. Oh my god, I haven't even just realized. You can use Shadow Realm, then you can turn back into Morphling, and you still get the Shadow Realm attack. So they can't see you for the entire duration of Shadow Realm. How long does Shadow Realm last? Five seconds, where you're basically in Slarkolt. That's a Slarkolt that comes with free attack range and damage. Holy hell, it's ridiculous. And now Tim's just gone in, skewed him right into the racks. He finds the kill. That's Zokken we're talking about. Big arena. Both heroes and yours at the same time. Out comes the fear. It's going to fear Midnight into the wall. A lot of damage coming out from Zeus. Roids, he's just going in. There was a paralyzing cast, but it's not going to do much. Tim, he finds another spear. It doesn't land on the tower. But Roids, he goes in anyway. Zokken has so much cast range. Taking the cast range talent and having ether lens. That plus 325 cast range Laguna Blade. I mean, he's got the most kills. No, he doesn't have the most kills on his team. 
It's hard for the die. The Radiant are so aggressive. They just engage all these fights exactly as they should do. I'm not sure what that Yules was for. Do you have a debuff on him? Maybe the Silence of Curse. They're doing a little bit of damage to Royce, but he is not scared at all. He's just standing there like, whatever. Oh, the cast bouncing on his illusion. <laughs> Tim's got BKB. He's fairly strong as well. He's not overtaking Takea in terms of net worth. Ollie is still committing for, for Abyssal Blade. I don't know why he's so desperate for, for Abyssal. I guess he hopes with more lockdown they'll be able to get some more kills. Is Takea going to spin? Or is he just going to tank it? Just going to tank it. Look at this damage. Oh my god. What a ridiculous combo. Oh, the Lacuna oh. Blade on top of the Zeus. They got a lot of damage from a lot of range. They know there's a ward though. That's the one thing they're going to guarantee. You think Juggernaut is pretty good against a team like this because the healing, but they just burst you so fast, you got no chance. Yeah. Balar is defending his ward, so that he knows it's there. Look at the damage coming out from Wolfram, the attack range on that. Ollie's actually going to commit the roll, uses Abyssal to guarantee a stun. He's doing a lot of stuns, Ollie. Nice position, he gets more stuns. Tim, he's being ulted by Decay. Doesn't actually die, no, he will go down. But there's the ult, waits for the Blade Fury to end and kills Decay. Nice play from Noodles. Ollie doing what he can, but he didn't go a pipe this game. In fact, no one has gone a pipe. Axe is trying. Midnight's trying his best. He's tried uh, that, that. He's had that in his quick fight for basically like out of the laning laning stage early on. He's just taken this long to, ch to actually get it. Such a good item. You need to get pipe, especially when you're playing against Zeus. It's like mandatory. Roids not one HP again, please. It's gonna randomly die to Ollie. Oli has played very well this game, but it's been a very difficult game for the supports. They've just been killed so easily. Oh, Smoke, but they smoke really <laughs> carefully, <laughs> dodging the brambles. <laughs> and they find Belial, and they're going to bring him down. Goodbye. Not who you want to find in a smoke. They see Royce. Royce has gone... Honestly, he's gone Moonshard. Nah, he's going to TP out. Yeah, not, not close enough. This is an interesting build for Morphling. Um, a casual Morbid Mask in the early game. Manta, Ags, Moonshard. I mean, it's a lot of attack speed Moonshard, I guess. Is it because of... Cause Willow. He into Willow, oh, yeah. So he's building like a Dark Willow, Ags, Moonshard. He's not even playing oh Morphling God. anymore. I thought we'd see the Nimbus, but I was so wrong. Oh, Sarkin with the Invis. He's gone for Light Strike Array damage talent, so... There's a lot of damage, those two spells, when you put them together. 310 plus 310 plus 700. He finds Nat. He opens with the Yules. He misses the Light Strike Array. The Nimbus, no, no, it zoning. will give vision. Zoning. Yeah. It, it, the the thing is, you can use Glimmer Cape, but when the Nimbus comes out, it doesn't matter because Zeus can reveal you. So he will go down. He was not that far outside his base. <laughs> Do salt. Oh, it just gets cancelled. The nice ult coming out from Noodles. And Tim, he is there with the spear. Zocken gets the kill, of course. As deserved. <laughs> ah, so Zocken, 9318, by the way. Nice. That's a pretty big Lina support. I've, I thought Lina support was a bit troll. Like, ah, okay, it's got damage, but it's a bit rubbish. But now we've seen a lot of Lina supports, and I'm fully convinced it's a good pick. Or in general, or in this in-house? In general, actually, yeah. I think in general it's a good pick. Like, it does a lot of damage. And Light Strike Array, um, it stuns for 2.5 seconds on a 7-second cooldown. I know it's not reliable, but that's a lot of stun. 2.5 seconds on 7-second cooldown. Oh, look at the damage going on to Ollie. The Global Science is too late. Ollie has to buy back straight away. They just kill you so fast. The Radiant team is absolutely terrifying. Ollie? Goes with the Abyssal, doesn't find another bounce. Yes, it, there it is. But he's got the morph in time. Tim, BKB, doesn't spear anyone, doesn't matter because he's got the arena up. Collapses onto uh, Drekken. He's still going in. Midnight can't escape. 
Midnight's like, gonna have to run, dies to the Laguna Blade. Zock and finding another kill. Out comes the ult from Decaya, just having to do it to keep himself alive. But Timmy's taking barely any damage at all. I heard a refresher, that's a refresher from Zeus, another ult. It's doing a that's lot of damage, it. GG is cool. Right, that, that, oh my god, this Morphling like... I don't think that's gonna do the game. It, let's be honest, that was a huge Morphling game. Yeah. I've never seen that combo before. Morphling taking Dark Willow. Let's change this region back to what it should be. There we go. <laughs> what was what was it on? Uh, well, the country was Nepal and the language was Japanese. So it sounds like something Belial would do. Nice. Yeah, it was just generally a great game from the Radiant. There was never a point where they were behind. Like, there's a tiny, tiny dip around the 10 minute mark where um, the Dyer have just overall a little bit more farm but generally this was always in the radiance favor not by a massive amount for most of the game but then they just won fight after fight after fight and really the dad didn't have any way to come back from that they were being killed instantly by the morphling by the Lena, by the zeus uh, tim and then they had the, the tim below had that dark willow mars combo which won them a couple of team fights as well it was just that it was a very aggressive draft a little bit risky but they pulled it off no problem